Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back, you guys. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Why'd you just look at me like that, Cindy? You know, I was just pondering that I'm just <laughs> happy to be here with you. Happy to be here. As I'm always. Paige. I'm Cindy, and this it's is Mom's, Mom's the Word. Word, where Mom knows best. Or at least she's trying her best. Really, I am. You are. You're yeah. doing a damn good job. Thank you. Has anybody told you that lately? No. You are. You're doing a stellar <laughs> I job. I appreciate that. I of appreciate course. that. You are too, listener. Hello. They are doing good. You are. And and um, really, like, watch what you, or pay attention to what you watch on the internet, because it can make you feel a little shitty. Yeah, no kidding. These days, people love to be I judgy. feel like lately, like, you, like, scroll and I'll look at other, like, mom's comments, and I'm like, oh, that's so mean to say to people. Why are they so mean to moms? I don't know. So mean to moms. So mean it's to moms. It's wild to me. Y'all are just some of the biggest haters. And I'm not in any other, like, you know, that any other sides of TikTok. I'm on mom talk, you know? Yeah. And so I just see those. But, like, man, I feel like I'm already judgmental to myself. Right. Like, we are our, our own biggest critic. Yes. I don't need you up my ass, too. Right. Now, the most recent thing <laughs> that oh, we've kind of discussed... Man. This is that um, the living day that's uh, you guys probably seen a few weeks ago now that uh, we, we can't take our kids to Costco, you know, big stores. Yeah, don't don't take your kids to the public. Yes, it really upsets the other people apparently. And I'm sure you guys have seen this. There was um, somebody who went around saying like, "Leave your kids at home with their dad. Why are you bringing them here when they're crying?" Right? We, she didn't even just go around. She straight up videoed a child crying in the background and said, "This is why you leave them at home with dad. Mm-hmm. You don't take your kids to Costco." Yeah, if they girl, don't know how to act. Girl, what? Girl, what? Girl, what? Yes. What are you talking about? First yes. of all, you're at the Costco house. <laughs> That's the bulk family Literally. store for for families to be able to not we spend so much We all pay so for this food. club membership. Hello? I literally <laughs> paid to bring my kids here so that judgy winches like you wouldn't look at me. And not only my biggest thing, don't get me wrong, like, uh-huh. yeah, judging, that's Mm, mm, you're already lame to me. The <laughs> fact that you videoed a child crying, you literally heard this child in a moment of vulnerability and thought to yourself, I'm going to video them and talk about how shitty it is that their parents even brought them here mm-hmm. and put it online. It's going to be so viral. Yes. The thing how that stupid. made me cringe was like that she's a mom. <laughs> yeah. Like, what, girl? What do you mean? That's some weird behavior. She has to be a mom to older kids who has just forgotten yeah. That's the only way I can excuse that. You've just forgotten how, yes. how hard it is. Yes. My thing is, too, is she's like, she doubled down on it. And she was like, well, the mother was just spacey and not paying attention and just didn't even care. How do you know that? How mm-hmm. do you know that mother didn't care? Yeah. How do you know she's not rushing through what's left of her list just so that she can get out of there? Because I guarantee you, if my child is crying and upset... I'm oh very gosh. worried about the way it. that they're disturbing the yeah. people around them. And I don't want him to be crying and upset anyways, let alone I don't want him to be disturbing people. Yeah. So the fact that I'm already stressed out yeah. and there's someone like you with your phone out recording it mm-hmm. saying that I'm not being good enough mom and my kid doesn't know how to act yeah. and all these things to a stranger. Yeah. Ick. Ick energy. I literally can tell you there's never a moment that I'm like, I'm going to go to Costco so my kids will cry the whole time, actually. And I'm going to enjoy it and just let y'all just listen in. Literally. I'm never going there thinking that's going to happen. No, and it's not something you want to no, happen. No, never. It's so stressful. No. And then that that brings me to my child has autism and uh-huh. he stims loudly. Yes. He hums sometimes. Yes. And so if he's sitting there humming or makes a happy yelp or any of those things, He's disturbing you so badly. You're gonna video it. Yeah, that's that's just oh, no. it was so it, frustrating. Yeah, and to then me the backup. Oh my, yes. And then the backup video that said like, I could tell this child didn't have any disability. Ma'am, what? Ma'am, what? Yeah, what? What? No. The, what are you talking uh-huh. about? Because if you met Boston, you would not know. Right. That. So what are, you, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm. You don't know. If you don't know that child, you do not know that he right. does not have a disability. And it was so gross yes. to watch this lady double down and say that. I was. Icked out. You know what else also <laughs> pisses me off is when people video themselves in a plane and you can hear a baby crying behind them and they're, they're like, like, babies don't belong in planes. Uh, says who? <sighs> Here's my thing. I am all for an airline coming out and being adult exclusive. Right. You pay a little extra. There's no kids on that plane. Cool. Yep. Do it. Yep. I don't want your grumpy ass around my kid anyways. Yes. So like, I get it. I understand not wanting to be stuck in a tuna can in the sky with a crying kid. I don't want to be there. You want to know? Yeah. I was like, you want to know who else don't want to be there? Me. Me. 
Yes. Me. And he's my child and I love him yes. more than words, but I don't want him crying and upset because I know he's upsetting other people. A, I don't want him to be upset. I mean, it's just, there's so much pressure already to have them be like, okay, please don't cry. Please don't cry. You're upsetting the people around us. Please don't cry. Oh yes. my gosh. Yes. Trying to keep them calm. Oh my God. Trying to make everyone comfortable. And the only person that is actually having a meltdown is you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I literally I- just had this experience. Yeah. Um, when we just went on a trip to Disney World and I don't go on I didn't take my child, you know, thinking he was going to have like the easiest time. Planes are scary, right? Yeah. And so my child had a hard time going to sleep on there. I can't schedule, you know, when he's going to cry, when he's going to sleep. Mm-hmm. And so he was upset and he did cry and I was stressed. Yeah. out. Like I was trying everything. I'm looking around at people because they're looking at me and I was stressed beyond measure. Mm-hmm. Like to the point where I'm like, I'm going to go to the bathroom and cry with my baby because I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I could not, I was calling, and I just felt like the shittiest parent when I am a seasoned parent, right? Yeah. I have now had 15 kids, right? I've had I've done respite care. I've had a lot of kids and I still in that situation could not get my child to stop crying. Does that make me look like a bad parent to others? It did, but I knew that I've tried everything. I tried everything that I could do. I'm not a first time parent, mm-hmm. you know, don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Uh-uh. I hate this, this whole well, the, the parent was ignoring the child, oh, no. too. Because I've, I've never personally been in a situation where I saw a child was upset and crying, mm-hmm. and the parent was just, like, yes. off and right. not not, not yes. trying to comfort them in some form of way. Yeah. I've you know, never... I was a really great parent, though, when I was not one. Like, Amen. Like, when I wasn't a parent. <laughs> My kids were never getting a tablet. I was the best one. They were not going to have binkies. We weren't going to yeah. be attached to the bottle. Yep. Like, I was such a good parent. I love the whole, my kid will never speak back to me. My kid will never have an attitude. Well, sometimes I have an attitude, so Same. why would I expect my child not to have Same. an attitude with me? I have teenagers. Sometimes they get attitudes. Yes. And most of the time, it's reactive yes. because I have an attitude with them telling them to do something, so they'll get it back to me. Yes. And there is this conception that, like, oh, because I'm the parent, they shouldn't have that type of attitude towards mm-hmm. me. I don't care if they get an attitude towards me. I mean, if I've given them one first, now if they just randomly pop off and are disrespectful and be like, "Hey, yo, check your tone," you know, but there's there's bad moods for all. There's of us. bad moods. Everybody yeah. has bad moods, and you can Toddlers, tell the difference. Teenagers, yes. every everybody yes. has a bad day every once in a while, yeah. and we expect so much out of our kids. We expect them to act appropriate and to constantly be able to regulate their yes. emotions and yes. and be how everybody around them wants them to be. Yeah, I agree. So uh, take yeah. the pressure off. And I They're like, babies. Y- yes. And I feel like we're still talking about this because it's now been probably two weeks since we've, we've heard about that. Because yeah. um, as I was reading the comments, I was sad for a lot of newer moms, right? Yeah. And new parents in general. Who don't Feeling know. like, oh my God, like my kid can't be out there crying, mm-hmm. you know? And and don't the comment sections were validating for all oh, of us. Oh, the comment sections but, were so good. Oh, yes. The so moms good. showed up. They were they like, did. oh, wow. So all it takes is for me to leave my my kids at home with the husband I don't have. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mine's deployed. Mine is, you know, yeah. working 12 hours a day, you know, like mine just, passed away. I'm a widow. Yes. Now what do I do? Yeah. What the hell? Like just the invalidation of everybody and her face. There was something about her face when she made it, when she was just so mm-hmm. conniving. It was just yeah. so hurtful. She did. She did, made that video with intention to hurt. Yeah. And you could see it in her face, the judgment. I just don't. I don't vibe with people like that. I don't either. You could just tell mm, it was full judgment. And I just maybe think like, did you forget you also had little kids? Did you just leave them at home with their dad? Well, because that was a luxury then. What a privilege. That was a luxury to have because yeah. I run to, by myself with my three children. Yeah. And I try to do it in the morning. I try to be quick. I yeah. have a plan. I have a list. And I try to be the most efficient because, yeah, my kids will pop off once in a while. Yeah. You know, that sample lady only gave him one. Now he wants another one. Yeah. Like, it just happens, They're right? kids. Yes. I don't go there for their entertainment. No. Like, <laughs> But I have to go grocery shopping, yes. Bethany. <laughs> What do you want me to do? So just don't yes. feed them because I don't want to upset you at the Costco <laughs> while you eat your fucking hot dog. Yes. Please. And we have personally had quite a, some some experiences. Didn't handle it well. If y'all if y'all have not been here since the beginning, <laughs> Paige done popped off on a lady already. And I'd, and I'd do it again. And I'd do it again. <laughs> so I'm going to go tell the story. If, you have, if you've already heard this, we're going to hear it again because to me, it's literally a prime example of like, Girl, we're in public. We are we are public in the public. Know your place. And so we're eating. We're eating lunch, right? Picturesque, okay? Eating together right here. Got so our babies. Sweet. We got our babies right here talking, talking to each other. 
Fox is like, ah, and then Julia's like talking and they're laughing. They're going back and forth, which is so good for their development mm-hmm. anyways. The fact that they're having little baby conversations. Yes. We're giggling at them. Like yes. it was so, so adorable cute. to watch them interacting. They were little then. Yes. They were little, little. Uh-huh. And it was so cute. So there's a lady right behind Makes Paige. Fucking hot and I'm looking it. at her because I see her, right? And the lady like flips around. Whips and I like looked head. at her and Paige can tell. So Paige whips around and the lady says something. What did she say? So she was like, really yeah or something like that really and like she's at a table with four other older ladies and i said nicely kindly right because here i am at lunch with my husband and my kids and i was like i was like they're babies just she, like that and yeah. then Paige, <laughs> really what yeah i was like you ain't never heard a happy baby before she did and then, girl that didn't end it okay so no, second of all her friends noticed and that was embarrassing um, we were in a restaurant, you guys, with other children there. In a mall. In we a are mall. in a mall, okay? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please. Quit acting like you were at the fucking Foga de Chow. Yeah. You were not. <laughs> and then the fact that, like, she kept, like, ear hustling us, like, you could tell that she was still making Judging. her irritated. They were checking out. So as we're leaving, Paige wasn't done. No, I wasn't because I was tired of her turning around and looking at me. Mm-hmm. Looking I was at our sick babies. and tired of it. So we were going out with our babies to go change them together. <laughs> and <laughs> Paige talked to her friends. <laughs> I just politely tapped my finger on the table. <laughs> mm. No, these were the friends that walked out, huh? Yes, the friends that walked yes, out. Yes, yes, yes. And I said, I just hope that you know that your friend was very rude. And I hope that all the people know at church that she's a hypocrite. Mm-hmm. And it I'd was rude. They were embarrassed. Again. They were embarrassed. I'd absolutely say it again. They were embarrassed. Because not only did they sit at that freaking table acting like they were the only people in that damn restaurant, but then she wanted to turn around and act like she could judge me. And I'm not the one. Mm-mm. I'm not the one. And what a weird thing. Like, the kids are happy. To judge a six-month-old baby Not even that's crying. babbling, that's so strange. Mm-hmm. How miserable do you have to be that you that they're making happy sounds? We're not even talking about a kid crying here. Mm-mm. This is not even uh, the mom has been ignoring the kid who's having a meltdown and Mm-mm. is just not doing anything, and you turn around and say, hey, like, pay attention. To your kid. No, this is happy sounds between two babies and one old crotchety woman that thought that she was going to have the last word, and she met her match. Yes, she did. She probably ain't never going to do that again. Don't come for I my sure kid. I sure hope so. She better be glad that's all I said because I had a lot more. And I feel like it could be intimidating because you're like, oh my God, my kid being too loud, right? You automatically feel judged. Mm-hmm. Um, but when it comes to us, no, ma'am. No, don't Mm-mm. judge me. We're not doing that. No. And then there's situations that are quite great, right? So I had a great yeah. experience yesterday, literally yesterday, and I was at... Costco, was that Costco? Mm-hmm. Sam's Club. And I was having a conversation with Bear, my seven year old, and we we're talking about just random things about a concert. And I was saying, like, you're not old enough yet, but you will one day and we'll have so much fun. And this lady walks up to me and I thought she was going to be rude. And I had when my. When you said the story, uh-huh. I had already typed, like, who, who does she think she yes. is? Give me her name because I thought yeah. it was going the wrong way. Yeah. So she walks up to me and she's like, hi there. I'm like, she's like, oh, these are all your babies. I'm like, yeah, you know. And she's like, oh, how old is, you know, Bear? And she was asking him and he's like, I'm seven. And she goes, Mom, I just want to let you know that I was listening from the aisle over. And at this point, I was like, oh, my God, was I being mean? Because, you know, sometimes your kids are acting up wild. Yeah, and I got to be yeah. like, stop it, hey. you know? And so I'm like, Sick oh, my God, life. what did I say? Because it's just a conversation. And she goes, you're doing a really great job. The way you talk to him was so great. You talked to him and explained it. And she goes, I was just smiling over there. <laughs> and she's like, and you're playing with your other baby right here. And you're just doing a really good job. And I was like. Oh my so god! So and nice. I was like, "Thank you so much." And Bear just like, <laughs> you know, like he's like, "This is my mom." But I just thought that was so much more validating than anything else. If you see a mama that's doing a good job, let them know. That made my whole week. Let them know. I was like, "Wow, I'm doing a good job." Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you do a good job. <laughs> and so I was like, I have to do that more to other moms too. Yeah, like I try really hard to, and I'm caught in motherhood because I have babies. But I try really hard to be like, "You're doing so good too." I'm you know? big on that. I love to. I, I I seek out people. I'll be like, your shoes are cute. Mm-hmm. Girl, you look great today. Like I'm that person that wants to randomly yell compliments at you and throw you off. And you'd be like, uh, uh, me? I love that. That's yes. the big, oh, it just makes my whole world. I love it. So we are in a public space and I feel yeah. like there's a time and a place also, right? Let's yeah. hear the other end of it is that like, where are some places that we wouldn't take our kids to? You know, there are places that I would not take my babies to, right? We're not going to a store like Gaucho for some um, fancy dinner. Yeah, no, we're not Brazilian. going to Fogo de Chao. Um, I'm not, not going to take them to any clubs. We're not going clubbing. Right. Um, funerals. 
I don't necessarily like to take my children to funerals mm-hmm. uh, because uh, they're children. They don't necessarily know to sit there and be quiet the entirety of the time, and they could start to babble or, you know, yes. people are mourning and going through a grieving um, period. That's a great one. And that is just one small yes. thing. Or adult-based events, right, that yeah. you know that this event is for adults. Yeah. And you know that your children could possibly get into the way, right? Like, yeah. We know those spaces. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, we're not going to. We bring... also know what's going to be uncomfortable for you as a parent uh-huh. because you don't want to take them to those places kid. anyways. No. Especially like non child proof places. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd rather not. Yeah. I'd rather not. Yes. That but the grocery store, one. that's where we're going. Yeah, we're I'm going all to, going. I'm there. going to the damn grocery store. There. Like, get over it. <laughs> we're going to the mall. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the mall and I'm going to eat in the food court. And if you got a problem with it, Dorothy, come at me. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I cannot, but there's a time and a place, you know, yeah. public spaces are public for a reason. And to all the moms listening who felt some type of way about that, I want you to take your kids everywhere. Everywhere. I want you to ex- let them experience the world, talk to other people, talk to each other, let you have conversations, let them have an outburst and figure out how to act because one day they are going to be in that situation. Yeah. And how else are they going to learn? They're never going to know we how don't to teach act. Them how. Yeah. I went to a library story time. Oh my goodness. A library story time, and I had a child who was in care who did not know how to sit down and listen, right? Yeah. They're three. Yeah. And she told me to leave the room until they could sit down and compose themselves. What? I forgot about that still just now. I'm like, I literally just got a spine chill. That and she's, would have pissed and me And I literally off. said to her, this is where they're learning to sit down. Like, this is the, what, what's the point of this? Yeah. And they said, oh, well, all the other kids can sit there. Oh, well, this is where they have to learn to come and sit down. This is one child. Yes. Oh, uh, uh. and so she did it to a couple other parents. Like a baby was kind of like wanted to stand up and her mom kept trying to put her down, put her down, put her down. So the baby was getting upset. And she's like, ma'am, you can take her out until she's done crying. And I'm like, no, I would never go back to that library. I don't go back to that library because I thought like, this is literally library story times to me are to help your children get ready for that setting for kindergarten, for preschool, Mm -hmm. right? us stay-at-home moms and moms who can go to the story times at like 10 in the morning, that is how we're teaching our kids to be in public. Literally, you should not be keeping your child in the house the entire no. time just so that you don't upset the public. They'll never learn no. anything. Social They're not going to thrive. How to be around other kids, yes. how, to, how to advocate for themselves, yes, any of I these agree. things. They need these social skills in yes. order to be able to thrive yes. as young adults. That That's just, it's so unrealistic that you think that your peace in a public place mm-hmm. is that important that you don't want to be around the public no no if anything that's going to stifle your your kids growth stifle their um how they speak and things like that they mm. need to experience those things. we were just having this conversation it's very important about kids being around other kids and mm-hmm. how they learn things yes from other kids like my daughter sees me walk and is like cool she walks she always yeah. has but then she sees like jay's kids mm-hmm. amor walking and she's like wait a second she's my size uh-huh. i can do that yeah so she follows after these other kids because they're her size. Yeah. They're her peers. She's like, wait a second. You can climb there. I can climb there. They need to be exposed they need to. to those things. You want my child to one day be emotionally stable, be able to be in public yeah. and be a, you know, a great person in society. Then they got to be out right now. Right. Just do it. Like This is another big thing is like restaurants can be very difficult because, you know, you get to sit down and be quiet. Mm-hmm. They color can here. be very difficult. Start in small places. Like start at the Burger King. Mm-hmm. Let them go to the Chicken Filet. Yep. Let sit here. Then you get a reward. You can go play. Go That's ahead. Right. Have fun. That's right. You do that a couple times as they get more comfortable with that. Maybe you try Babe's yeah. Chicken. Maybe you try somewhere that's a little bit more family yes. oriented. It's not so fancy. It's not so sit down. Yes. You know, there are ways to do it in steps so mm-hmm. that your child does become prepared for that yep. and can act differently and not have outbursts in, in places where you yep. don't necessarily want them to. Yep. But even if they do, it doesn't make you a bad parent and it doesn't make them a bad kid. How are they going to learn if you don't do it? If Literally. you don't take them? We are in charge of teaching them how to be out there. Mm-hmm. And I, you just brought up a good thing. It's like people say like, how do you go with all three of your kids? How are you doing it? Like you make it look so easy. And my biggest advice is start small. Yeah. Start at the park, bring a lunch, sit down, you mm-hmm. know, start with one hour, go to library story time, you know, start really small and just work your way up. And it's hard. It is hard. It's freaking hard. There's sometimes there's I gonna go be a lot of times you cry. <laughs> Literally, as I say, there's sometimes I go out and we don't last as long as I thought I would. It didn't mm-hmm. cut. It didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to look, but I still went. Mm-hmm. And so now I've just become, you know, accustomed to it. Bring the kids with me, but. Um, oh, me too. Yeah. You just, you I've just also do. gotten used to being disappointed in experiences yeah. because of Boston's um, inability to follow along in mm-hmm. an exact, like how 
how everybody else wants him to follow along in certain things. He doesn't think that way. No. He doesn't want to. And like when we went and played putt-putt, yeah. he freaking had the time of his he life, really but did. he did not hit one single putt-putt. <laughs> he was climbing yeah. everything. Yeah. And he would look at the ball go in from somebody else, and he'd be like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But he just wanted to stay on one station. It was exciting for him. And so, you know, if every child's going to be different. Yep. Every single one. But it didn't upset anybody that we were nope. around that he wasn't following to that schedule. No. And I think that is what made that place so exciting for us. It was called Putt Shack, by yeah. the way, if you're in, in the Plano area. Really um, cool. It was really cool. And and But the, those kid-friendly places are perfect places. To they're so kids. good. That other restaurant we went to with the outside area and Boston was just like vibing in his own world. Remember on the – we went with Jay – there was this huge restaurant. Oh, it's like yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah. restaurants. Yeah, the and they have hall. a big outside area yeah. where yeah, your kids can just running. be. And there was other kids acting yep. crazy. And I thought that is the perfect environment mm-hmm. for all of us. Like yeah. those kind of environments my start there. Not sitting still. Yeah. Start there. He's busy. <laughs> He's very busy. He wants to run around. He wants to play. He's and he excited. has the best balance I ever did see. Oh, he does. That boy will mm. be some kind of athlete. I'm no down. lie to you, you guys. He can balance on everything. Everything. It's amazing. Everything. He <laughs> like the the jungle gyms that have like the rock climbing things. Mm-hmm. He's going for that first. <laughs> um, the ones that like it, even at when, whenever I drop him off at school, there's like a curb that's mm-hmm. like a ledge that looks like a balance beam, and he walks it every day he's, he's, because he likes it. And the other moms will be like, "Oh my God, your baby!" And you're like, "Oh no, he's good. I'm fine. He's fine. <laughs> he's let good him, up let there." Him go. He climbs the back of the couch every day all he day is long. Such so good. Yeah. I, I'm not afraid of him climbing things anymore. Mm-hmm. I've watched him do it so much that mm-hmm. I'm, now I'm comfortable with it, but it does make other parents yeah. very nervous. They'll be like, oh, he's climbing this. I'm like, yeah, no. He's good at it, too, he's though. He's so good at I it. I could never. He has the most upper body strength mm-hmm. I've ever seen. That kid is strong. Yes. Oh, yeah. He don't play no games. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, try to fight him off of something. <laughs> 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 this is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think this is a good pause to bring Jay in. Yeah, we should. Jay, Jay I want to know perspective. your perspective yeah. on the public public having children in it. Isn't it weird to think so he has that a lot the public of kids that are may little. have public? Jay, j- 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 Hi, Jay. guys. Jay, Jay is back. Huh? <laughs> Welcome back, Jay. Oh, what an interesting topic y'all had today. So let me tell you something. So, <laughs> Bayard already said this, but Jay's children are very well behaved. Jay, oh, you're so very behaved. sweet. Thank you. So, like, how Thank does you. that happen Polite. when you're out in public? They can sit there at the restaurant. My kids <laughs> having a crazy. So you know, we went out to eat for Valentine's Day, and uh, first of all, I think it's interesting when restaurants only have like two high chairs. <laughs> I don't know. I find that so interesting. Like, I understand, like, you're not going to have, like, a lot. Uh, but two for the whole restaurant? Yeah, that's, that, that doesn't that seem is. like yeah, enough. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's um, like five. And, like, minimum. you know how they have the boosters? But I feel like those are unsafe. So they yeah, are. Your kids, like, because they could, like, them. Ugh. Yes. And you kids know? don't sit still. No. no. And so, uh, we, anyway, so we went out to eat for Valentine's Day. And my kids had to sit, uh, we only had one high chair, so we had to sit them in uh, regular chairs, and they did very well. And uh, someone did tell us that the kids did really well uh, sitting down, like in a regular chair, sitting up and stuff. When I'm Uh, with you, you get that compliment a lot. All the time. Like probably three (laughs) restaurants, I've heard some ladies say, oh my God, your kids are so well behaved. Yeah, Yeah. because they really are so behaved. They really are. Like polite kind they sit there quietly <laughs> they kind of just color and do their own thing their food comes they eat it's yeah, like they eat you whoa. guys they eat good yeah they do eat i don't good. know what Praise he did but i didn't do it, yeah, I didn't do it. <laughs> so tell it. us what you <laughs> did uh no i mean i i, I think we we're very blessed because the kids do listen uh pretty well and we teach them you know when we're at restaurants please sit down uh obviously we let them play and do whatever they want and stuff but i try to let them be kids but at the same time kind of teach them that because that's mm-hmm. how we're going to teach them so like talking about the subject that y'all talked about earlier is that's the only way that they're going to learn it's like yeah we can model it at home Mm -hmm. right but it's not you can't get the full experience when you go out to restaurants yes that's when you're going to learn and stuff and so uh, i'm not sure that shameful lady uh (laughs) i don't i don't know i don't agree with that first of all i mean i just kind of wonder like when you're going to post a video like that like I wonder, like, because you know how, like, when you post a video, you're like, oh, my God, this is so funny. I Uh hope everybody thinks it's funny. I wonder if she's like, oh, my God, all these people are going to agree with me. She had to have. Like, that is the craziest thing I've ever heard of is, like, I'm going to shame somebody for something that they're doing, and I know nothing about them. So I'm going to post this, and everyone's going to agree with me. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're so right, girl. Those kids shouldn't be in Costco (laughs) where there's 50 cent hot dogs. I mean, uh, (laughs) 
if I mean literally, I did not stop shopping. I start shopping at Costco and Sam's Club like a hundred percent until I had a family. Literally, literally. So uh, yeah. I mean, warehouse shopping is literally meant for the large families. Yes. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot of single people with no children Who going to Costco. Of yeah. yeah. To get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> six pounds of oranges. And, Why do you I need mean, that? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs like you know what I mean? So I don't know. I I don't understand that and. I feel like when people are mean or do stuff like that, there's something inside of them internally mm-hmm. that they haven't uh, worked on, processed uh, a trigger or something that is within in, inside them that they haven't worked on. And that's why they feel some sort of way. And that just drives me crazy. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> oh, my God. If somebody ever recorded me. First of all, if oh I saw someone God. do that, I'd probably throat punch them. Oh, yeah. I'm something. getting violent. Well, I'm well no. Well, oh, point. my Lord. If my children are with me, I would try to set the example. I'd be like, yes, Kyler, yes. please take the children uh, outside. And I'm about to go ham on this lady. <laughs> yeah. um, obviously, I'm not going to hit a woman, right? So I would have to hit her with Verbally. my words. Uh, I, I have a, I'm very quick with my words. So I would be able to gather her really quickly. Uh, but I never took I just, that into account is that you would potentially be judged by women rather than men. I didn't even think about that, yeah. but you're totally right. I guarantee no dad's looking at you. Oh, like, he gets that all the time. They'd be like, they'll tell him like, oh, your wife must, this literally happened to us <laughs> the other Shut day. Up. Literally, someone was like, your wife must be so happy you guys have five kids. And Jay's literally quick, like my husband. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously I would handle it differently because uh, I wouldn't want to do something crazy in front of my children because yeah. our children are going to look for us for the example on how to handle right. conflict, how to handle yeah. things and all that stuff. Don't take but my I'd advice. But I'd be like, okay, Kyler, <laughs> please take the kids to the back of the store <laughs> or go to the car really quick. And Kyler would be like, Ooh, uh-huh. he's about to go crazy on this lady. Uh-huh. And then I would handle her accordingly. Um, I wouldn't hit her or anything. I would be so hurt. Handle it accordingly. But the audacity to sit there and if try to record somebody's child, child and yeah. put them on social media to make them feel less than or i mean it, it just doesn't make sense and it just uh upsets me yeah and uh um, imagine if I, that mom seen that video that's what i was yes. just thinking because your and fyp then, is shown to people who are like generally in your like oh i know that cry that's first. my baby that's and you know your child's mm-hmm. cry imagine like you're having a like getting out of the house is a struggle yes. okay mm-hmm. when you got kids it could be one two five mm-hmm. whatever it's a struggle to get mm-hmm. out of the house can and you sometimes say that again so it can be how many one, two, five. It could be one child be you have one. a hard time with. Yeah. Two yeah. children. One. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I thought you were going to tell me because I don't know how to count. No, no, no. <laughs> no it was I a mean, good example. Sense, like you saying that is so powerful yeah. because I mean, a lot of moms who only have one child yeah. see me or Cindy who have four or five you, people like us mm-hmm. who have multiple like, children. How do y'all do it? And I how can't. do y'all do it? And I'm with one and I can't. I was once a mom of one and I couldn't either. Nope. So I get it. Yep. That mm-hmm. was powerful. I mean... It's hard enough to get out the door. And let me tell you, sometimes me and Kyler, it takes us like three, four hours just to get out the door with (laughs) Mm. prepping and everything. And so then you have the anxiety. And I mean, you, me and Kyler probably argued because of the outfits. We're annoyed with each other. We're snapping at each other. Then we get to the store. You have to unload. Everything's going on. You're trying to get through the store. You're trying to make sure your children are well behaved. All these things. And then here comes bitter Betty mm-hmm. or someone to come and give some unsolicited advice when you're already having a rough day. Imagine that mom, she could be having a day. She could have got a flat tire on the way there. Yeah. She's yeah. overwhelmed. <laughs> she might be single. She doesn't have anybody. I mean so much. And then here comes someone trying to shame them. And then they were to see that on social media oh my and they already feel like a Don't failure. I mean, heart. that would be even worse. So and how do you and just explain it? Like you guys literally prepare to leave the house. Yes. Mm-hmm. We all prepare <laughs> to leave the house just to get up and go to the grocery store. And I make sure to plan it around nap, bedtime. Like, yep. they know me. If it's going to happen at 730, I'm not coming. Yep. My kids aren't coming. I will make sure I have a sitter because why would I put us in that situation yeah. when they're going to be, you know, having a hard night? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's very hard. And I just don't understand why we can't just give each other grace. Mm-hmm. Like, just give each other grace. I mean, let's say you're not a parent, uh, but... There was a time where you were going through some sort of situation that you just wanted grace. Life was hard. You were going through something hard. Give each other grace. Like, what Mm -hmm. does that have to do with you? If you don't like a screaming child, just take your car and keep going, girl. Mm -hmm. Like, has nothing to do with you. I mean, literally, after you leave that place, hopefully you're not sitting there thinking about it. I don't think of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, if I have a situation, eh, I move on. And next, you know, I'm living my best life, not worried. I just don't understand how people can be so mean and social media is an amazing thing uh but with social media there's a lot of people who are like keyboard warriors or mm-hmm. who are very mm-hmm. 
adamant on social media where they're very vocal. And I tell this to people all the time because I go on live and there's 90 98% is, is love, but there's 2% that is not love. Mm-hmm. I always tell people here in America, we have freedom of speech. I get it. We love it. That's mm-hmm. uh, the main thing of America. Oh, freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. It's called freedom of speech, not freedom to be an asshole. Mm-hmm. Right. So you're allowed to say whatever you need to say, speak on the topics on what you're passionate about. Lovely. Yes. I advocate for people speaking, using their voice. Oh, she's getting a phone call, guys. <laughs> that's not a vibrator. That's her phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have it set to very specific settings. <laughs> <laughs> call me again. <laughs> That's why the other day she's like, keep calling. Keep like, calling. You're keep not answering. <laughs> she did do that to us. I did not. <laughs> Don't get these weirdos uh, any ammunition. They'll be like, Paige, your phone is a vibrator. <laughs> is that why it doesn't work all That's the time? That's the fucking next Resourceful is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> no. Y'all said I don't save money. <laughs> uh, so... You have freedom of, of speech and you're allowed to like, let's say that you don't agree with two daddies, right? I, I get it. There's people who don't. There's a way that you can use your voice and say it in a way that you can still get your point across. You don't have to be rude. You don't have to be an asshole. But people think, oh, it's freedom of speech. So I can say whatever I want. You can. It's how you say it. And the power of your words are strong. And mm-hmm. you have to be very careful. But people just aren't very mindful of it. Right. And it's like if you just learn to speak and use the words correctly, I think it would be a lot better. Yeah, I think that like, I am definitely a learner, right? If you want to teach me something maybe that I don't know or explain it in a different way, like I'm all about the information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if you're going to come at me like telling me something, mm-hmm. it's the wrong way to go. Like it, I will absorb so much information from somebody. I learn from everybody, but. It's all mean. about the approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's all, it's all how people approach it. And then you can always look back at the people's intentions. You can always look back and you're like, hmm, what is the intent of this person? Right. Mm-hmm. right. And sometimes the intent might be malicious where they're trying to upset you, be rude, condescending like that lady. Or sometimes it comes from a place of they're not educated or right. they're unaware of a yeah. certain situation. I get a lot of people are like, Jay, I hope you don't take this offensively, but I haven't been around a lot of gay people. Yes. I haven't seen this. Can you help me understand this? I I'm love like, that's that, perfect. Though. Right. Right. The way that they yes. said it, the way they approach it. Thank you so much. Yes. Then there's some people that are like, just go straight for the jugular. And I'm like, mm. yes, I love so that. So it's all about the intent and uh, yep, how exactly. you word things. Right. And, and it's okay to ask questions and, and understand. Yeah. So I think like our audience, obviously is parents, you guys relate to all of these things really easily Um, but there are still a lot of us that have a hard time with going out with being afraid that somebody will say something to you or you're not prepared or you think something's going to go wrong Jay since you've had so many kids babies till now six what are some things that you do to to prepare to leave the house for a long time like what, what could you give a mom that would help her to feel more confident with leaving with her kids I think preparation is going to be key Mm -hmm. uh, for you to leave the house. Like you have to prepare one. I mean, we're, we are very scheduled, so I know that we're going to leave the house by nine. So I'm like, okay, great. We have to wake up at four. (laughs) (laughs) No, but like if we're leaving the house at nine, I'm for sure up at least, at least six to six 30 because I shower before Kyler wakes up. And before the kids wake up, I want my own little time to just shower. You know how long you need before. Yes. And then that way I hit the ground running. And so then Kyler takes a shower and then he comes and we, all have different yeah. responsibilities. I am more of a, I get them ready. I start doing their hair. Kyler helps me with their hair. He comes in, finishes it, and then he starts going and loading everything into the car mm-hmm. and packing. Uh, I, yeah, I don't. Which I don't. is a great thing to have a partner because my yes. husband's very helpful like that too. And if you don't, an advice that I would give is the night before. So like a yeah. lot of people will yeah. see me prepare the night before, like I'm packing snacks the night before mm-hmm. my bottles are ready. So when the morning does happen, yeah. you can just get your kids ready and all that other stuff's mm-hmm. ready. Yeah. And, uh, so preparation is key. And I mean, don't try to leave everything for the last minute, right? right. Because Never you don't work. know what mood those kids are going to wake mm-hmm. up. And yeah. Lord yes. almighty, they might wake up. Hi. <laughs> and they might be like, uh-huh. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Yeah. Like, Boston will say almighty. one minute. Yeah. One minute. Yes. Yeah. Um, but preparation is key. So like before we go out the door, like we have snacks. Like, mm-hmm. first of all, I'm a grazer. Okay. I'm a little <laughs> snacker myself. I brought a suitcase today of snacks. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> so snacks you know that your children are going to be hungry you know that sometimes like they're having a tantrum here's some fruit snacks right like literally right. bring out the literally. heavy snacks artillery help. of what they like yes to kind of be like oh hey look to kind yes. of redirect their their feelings or how they're feeling so i would say snacks is a big thing 
Mm -hmm. um, you need an extra outfit. So yes. How many yeah. blowouts? How an much out the house throw outfit. Throw up. Mm -hmm. uh, something like that, like outfits. So, you know, getting your diaper bag ready with different things that you're going to need a first mm -hmm. aid kit because yep. you just never know. Mm -hmm. But I think that you have to prepare. Preparation is key. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's right. You'll have everything that you need. Yeah, Many times that I would have things that I'm like, okay, this saved the day just by having something extra. Mm -hmm. And it, it will save you a lot because if you have like the extra clothes, it's going to save you a lot of anxiety and mm -hmm. all of that. If you have snacks to give them drinks because you know they're thirsty, they're hungry. And then obviously that's also a money saving situation, right? Like if you don't bring their cup, you don't bring snacks, you're like, oh crap, I have to stop and get all this stuff. Right. And then obviously you spend more money. But I think that preparation is key. And if you are a single parent, right? then preparing the night before mm -hmm. is is going to be uh, very important. Or even like the days before, like if you're going on a trip, start prepping the day before. Like if you know yeah. you have to get suitcases done, the diaper bag, yeah. you have to pack, pack in place, strollers, mm -hmm. you, I mean, all the, the toys, stuffies, oh, yeah. all that stuff. Pick a day each week, all right? Uh, so like, let's say you're leaving on Friday, Monday, do this. And that way you're not so overwhelmed because I'm going to tell you, yeah. Kyler, helps me in that because I try to do it the night before. Mm -hmm. And then the day of, me I too. pack my suitcase and I am going crazy yeah. because I'm like, oh, nothing fits me. <laughs> this is horrible. We're late. And, you know, it's just, a, it's just a rabbit hole. And so Kyla's like, let's just prepare. So that's what we've been doing. And that really helps. So if you are single, just try to do it like the day before, right? Yeah. So that way you're kind of prepared. Or like if you have two different diaper bags, I have one for the car mm -hmm. and one for home. And so if I ever forget it, what's in both diaper bags, I have it ready to go. So mm -hmm. in yep. case... You know, you just have everything. And even in my car, I have a medicine bag with, uh, remember that one time when I said that the throw up pill and I said it was, do you remember that oh, on my episode? It was Imodium. He was like, I take said, an Imodium, it'll make you feel better. And he meant Dramamine. Dramamine. <laughs> I said Imodium and it was I was Dramamine. like, well, those are two very largely <laughs> different things, Jay. Yeah. But I have Dramamine. I have a lot of things. Grace, and we'll get into the car. I'm like, oh. Me. I'm, like, I'm a car sick oh kind of Oh my cow. God. He threw up one time and it stunk in the car. That's and literally, I wanted to be with my, like a dog with my head out the window, like mm -hmm. out the freeway because it was horrible and it was blue because he had blue takis and oh boston projectile vomited a hot horrible. dog a couple days okay. ago and it was not great. not fun uh, but i think preparation is is key to kind yes. of help you and i've seen people where they make like list yes uh, that I'm, was what i was about to say i'm, I'm a not list a list girl. person I'm a list girl too. I, I haven't I have gotten to for a trip point. i'm making a list I have really to have it. i need to get a little bit better with that i think it would help me because sometimes it is very stressful for me mm -hmm. but i've seen people that do list or i've seen people that sell them on etsy and like stuff like that where you yeah. can get like a list Pro, like, and i think that might help created. you also to kind of reduce some of that anxiety to say i got a yes. list i checked it off i got everything i need in order to get out the door because it can be a lot sometimes it takes us at least three hours to get out the door mm -hmm. and uh it, it's a lot and sometimes i mean you're just doing your best you yeah. know you're doing your best and there is that pressure when you're out and yeah. you're like oh my god how are my children gonna act because you don't know it's, every day yeah, i mean yeah like they could be in a good mood and they're like hee, hee. yes and then they say don't touch me i think and, the last thing like that i always tell people is like you can leave like your kids act up my car is my safe place let's get them in their car seats Go through, mm -hmm. you know, Chick-fil-A, we're good to go. Mm -hmm. Like, you can always leave the situation, you know, try it. Because there's been times that I take my kids and I'm like, mm-mm. I went to HB the other day, one pooped, one was crying. Like, it was a hard day for me. And so, like, I feel like don't be afraid to, like, try it and then go home. <laughs> yeah. And you might have to change your plan sometimes because, you know, like, you're, like, planning to go a really nice restaurant and then your kids are in a mood, you're like, absolutely not. Chuck E. Cheese it is. <laughs> Literally. Uh, because that's the environment, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, it, it, it's better that way. But it can be stressful. And then the, sh the anxiety that we put on ourselves as parents mm -hmm. to feel like our kids have to be perfect and we have to be perfect because people like this lady is going are, – or, yeah. say something or, yeah. or anything like that. Like it can be a lot yeah. because we're like, oh, my goodness. But, yeah. Thank you for that. You shared great things. Pre I think being prepared we all like picture the, everything to oh, go a do. certain way, yeah. and it can oh, be very right. disappointing when it yes. doesn't go that way. So, I mean, it, it happens every. I mean, Boston Halloween. I was so excited. You know, everybody has their like Halloween experiences, yeah. and they all go around and they trick or treat. For two years now, Boston. Every time we've gone to the very first house, would get upset. He couldn't go inside. He'd be like, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm here to hang out with my friends mm -hmm. and didn't understand it and would start to cry and get mm -hmm. upset and get elevated. And those people would be like, whoa, mm -hmm. what's, what's mm -hmm. this going on? You're just here for some candy. And 
it was his thing. So like every yeah. child is going to react differently yeah. and it's okay yeah. if your situation looks different than what you expected it to yep. look like. Exactly. Kids are kids. Yes. They're going to be children. They're literally, they just got here. Okay. Like they, they're going to yeah. take some time and to just learn just react things. to their, how, how they're doing in the moment. Right. Yeah. Like that situation, you probably reacted great. Like, let's just keep going. Like, you know what I mean? We attempted to. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah. For as long as you could. Yeah. Like and then I realized he was going to be yes. escalated at every yes. single home. So we went back home. And we had a different Halloween yes, than everybody exactly. else, but it was still right. fun to him. He didn't know any different. He doesn't know that he's missing out on house to house trick or treating because he didn't. Come, whoa, sorry. He didn't come into this world thinking I'm supposed to go to house right. to house to trick or treat. That was just a fun thing, Mom right. told him. But he you could let do. him experience it. Yes, you know, we you tried. tried it. And that's another thing with like your kids. If you're like, if you have a designated time that you're like at the park and your kids are doing great, leave them there. Like yep. sit there and let them play. Like if things are going better than you expected, mm-hmm. let it be. Let yeah. it be. Because there's been moments that I'm like. Okay, it's time for us to go, but my kids are chilling right now. Yeah, they're Just having go a good with it. time. Yeah. Go I'm with it. Sit down and enjoy that. <laughs> enjoy that five minutes. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you, Jay. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the experienced dad here. So sure. glad I'm not touching anything in a box today. Why? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> guys, y'all need to let us know. Okay, so we're going to be doing more. We're going to uh, be doing some tasting challenges. <laughs> Jay loves to uh, mess with us. I do. I like it. I want to. He's bring bringing some, in fun things. So if you have fun, ideas, yes, let Jay know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you're listening on Apple or Spotify right now, and you're like, "What the hell are they talking about?" We have YouTube. a YouTube version, and so uh, we do some fun activities over on YouTube that are that probably better to actually visualize yeah. Yeah. than they it's are hilarious. just to hear. If but, you miss. That mm-hmm. episode where uh, Paige over here had <laughs> a live animal, a live animal where <laughs> she talked touched about it. it all day, <laughs> all day long, like literally to the point he got in my car that morning. I picked him up and was like, hey, He's drive safely on. because I have a live animal back there. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? So this whole time I'm like certain I'm in my brain. I'm like, OK, yeah. at the pet store, you can buy lizards and rats and snakes. Like, what else would this be? So in my brain, it was going to be a lizard. And I don't I don't do what reptiles. I'm going to do reptiles. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> it was. So if y'all have any ideas, let us know. Yeah. And if you're not following us on Instagram, well, all socials, Please go do. follow because we just posted something on Instagram so that way y'all can give us different ideas and yes. stuff that yeah. we can do. All right, Jay, until next time. Thanks, Thank Jay. you. Thank Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, let's just remember, ladies and gents and whoever you are listening, right. that sometimes judgmental thoughts should be inside thoughts. <laughs> or maybe send it to your best friend. Don't post it online yeah. and make everybody else feel like shit. And if you do see it, like Paige likes to say, I roll and scroll. I roll and scroll, baby. Let if you be. don't like it, let it go. That's right. And let it be. Let it be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had fun, you guys. It was a good time. It was. As always, keep those giggles going. And the love flowing. And until next time. Mom knows best. Or at least she's, she's trying, trying her best. best. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.